What is up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Saturday. Saturday, the weekend is here. <clears throat> February 11th, 2023. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Let's kick it off with some Buckeye football. We've been hitting on each each position group, you know, since we got to talk to the coaches last week. So we're getting uh, some clarifications, just maybe some hints um, where who's playing where and who who uh, might be in the kind of the too deep as the coaches are seeing it. So uh, today we're talking safeties. Uh, in case you didn't know, this is a safety driven defense. You might not have heard that before. Yeah, you guys fucking pounded over our heads every time we talk to these coaches. Safety driven defense. So you think they should be the strength of the team, right? Well, in 2022, not so much. Now, one thing I wanna I wanna lay out before I, I get digging into this uh this position group is you you gotta keep this in mind that consistency on the coaching staff on defense is a big deal. There has been none. <laughs> so now we're going into year two of this entire staff as a group, you know, Jim Knowles, Perry Eliano, Tim Walton, all these guys, you know, Larry obviously always been here, but um, so this group is actually getting a second year together, you know, whereas in 2021, we had the Matt Barnes experience and Kerry Combs calling place. And, you know, it was a shit show and in 2020, even worse. So this is the second year. This is where we should see some improvement, in my opinion, because of this consistency in the defensive coaching staff. So keep that in mind as we go through this. Right. In 2022, um, Jim Knowles said uh, guys just didn't make the plays. Um, they did not do their job. So uh, Perry Eliano in his interview, he said, uh, quote, you know, uh, those guys had made those plays several times. Uh, it just once again came down to lack of fundamentals, technique and execution. Ohio State uh, they said that uh, they weren't put in any positions or situations that they hadn't been put in before. And uh, they'll tell you that the one thing we don't, if we won't ever do, we don't make excuses. We didn't execute the way we needed to period point blank. Now you you might remember Jim Knowles saying uh, he takes everything on himself. You know, he said that at all last year is if a player screws up, it's on him. It's his fault. He didn't coach things that correctly or, or whatever the issue was. Now the coaches, you can see uh, on the defensive staff, and they're turning it around on the players now. So there's a little shift. And this is interesting to me because you're going to see, I think you're going to see this more and more and guys are going to get yanked more often. I mean, we saw it last year with Proctor getting yanked against Notre Dame and really just didn't play much after that. So I think the coaches are going to be a little more vocal about it, though, and it's it should be obvious. Um, Eliana also said, uh, uh, we should have been there. We should have made those plays. There will never be any excuses. That's why we're here this offseason and the spring grinding. Uh, so going forward, uh, Jim Knowles, his thoughts on improving the defense this year. He says that, uh, quote, now that I'm coming into year two, I've got to be even more demanding. There you go. Ding. And push and put more steam with the players individually on that preciseness of technique. Ding. You know, and I got to really bear down. Ding. Putting it on the players. And that's fine. I, I think it should be a shared a shared blame when things are, are going wrong or a shared celebration, obviously. Um, so question is, who fits where? Uh, you got Jihad Carter, Carter coming in. He can play both nickel and free safety. Um, Jim Knowles said he, uh, we're going to see where he fits best because I think he can help us for sure. Um, he also said Lathan can play either adjuster or bandit. So the free or the boundary, uh, while Josh Proctor, Sonny Styles, Kai Stokes, Cam Martinez are all going to compete for for 
starting spots. You know, Lathan seems to be the only one who is, uh, I think you could set in stone a starter for sure. Um, but now, Sonny Styles, he must start somewhere. I don't care where. Anywhere. Put him in a linebacker for all I care. But seriously, he plays significant snaps in the Peach Bowl. He's covering tight ends. Also played big against Wisconsin. Uh, he brought him in in those those bigger personnel packages. He played that that uh, in the box safety, the bandit, and that's where I think he needs to start. Um, and that was just one month into his college career. You know, the kid was like still like freaking seventeen. Now he's playing against Wisconsin, but um, coaches know that that he can do so much more. And I think you're going to see him get more responsibility. He's, again, he's got to be a starter. I, I don't see how you put him at free. I think he's got to be that down in the box bandit safety. Um, and Perry Eliano said, uh, you get what you, you get, you earn everything you get here. Uh, nobody's given anything. You earn what you get here. At, you earn what you get in the secondary. You earn what you get in the safety room. So there are no handouts. The thing I appreciate most about Sonny is he came in and worked and there was no entitlement. Uh, yeah, he was the number one player and all that, but you would have never thought that, that the minute he stepped his foot through the door. Uh, so he earned the right to be on that stage and play the role that he played, obviously the Peach Bowl. Um, so the spring gives these guys uh, a time to experiment with uh, positions, you know, see who's versatile, who, who, who is really just best in one role in the secondary. Um, uh, Perry Eliano has a good idea on the rotation in the safety room, um, but he, he wants flexibility out of these positions. He wants so that they're going to mess around with the lineup tinker with the lineup uh, in spring and then more solidify that lineup in the fall. Um, so you, you got Cam Martinez, like I said, the transfer from Syracuse, Jihad Carter competing at the nickel. You got uh, Lathan as a starter. Uh, he has a full year in the system and he can play bandit or adjuster. So uh, I think adjuster is the way you go there. But then you got, how do you, you got to ask the question, how do you fit in Josh Proctor, you know, senior, uh, Sonny Styles, stud, freak, you know, secret weapon, as Jim Knowles called him last year. Then you got the young guy, Kai Stokes, another stud uh, as safety. So uh, Perry Eliano said that I've got a pretty good idea, but also what the spring allows you to do is experiment with some different things, understanding our, our personnel better, you know, allows things to do that going into year two of spring ball. The other thing is they know the system now, and there's some nuances we can add or subtract, but also you do have a chance in the spring to experiment. Now they've been around me for a year. I've been around them. They know how to move. I know how they move. Um, and, uh, he said he also said that's what's exciting for me in year two spring two is having the ability now to say okay today let's do this hey the next day let's do this because it's our job as coaches to have some forethought as to what's what's to come in the future all right so uh they're saying Jihad Carter's making a a strong early early impressions he's got uh, experience he's got a strong resume impressive physical physical tools and he's one of the he was one one of the most coveted uh corners or defensive backs i should say uh in the portal in the off season uh he's he's shown nothing but strong work ethic so far since he's been in on campus um but there's nothing guaranteed in, in this uh, slot safety rotation. So he's going to be battled. You know, Cam Martinez has been around for a few years. He's going to get, he's going to battle. And uh, Perry Eliano says he's workmanlike to Jihad Carter. Uh, he's, he's got his head down and he's working. Once again, he came here because he wanted to develop, to be developed and be the very best. He understands the task at hand and it's competition. You know, the old adage, iron sharpens, sharpens iron. Um, so we got, uh, in my opinion, Lathan is, is solidified, concrete, mark it down and pen. Lathan is a starter somewhere. I think it's free safety. Coaches aren't going to tell us yet. Then I think you got Sonny at the strong safety, the bandit down in the box, you know, and then at slot, 
I love Cam Martinez. You know, uh, he's he's been around for quite a while, uh, but you've seen him blow some blow some plays. You know, and and he's he's been on. This is his fourth year on campus, so concern is, you know, has he learned from these issues? Um, he had 175 snaps last year, so I think it's going to be Jahad Carter starting week one in the slot. And uh, so you go Lathan free, you go Sonny strong, Jihad slot. Then behind Lathan, I go Kai Stokes. He's going to get some playing time. I know he didn't get a ton last year, but uh, I really like him at free safety. Then I think you got uh, the senior Josh Proctor behind Sonny Styles at the strong safety. And then Cam Martinez, of course, backing up Jahad Carter. I think that's how the safety room breaks down as of right now. So, uh, let's see. We'll wait and see. Uh, Court Williams, probably not going to be a factor. Uh, maybe, uh, obviously, special teams in, in the uh, fall. He's the same age as uh, Carter, Ransom, Cam. Uh, so they all came in in the 2020 class. So, uh, again, his fourth year, he probably will get one more year. I don't know if they can get an extra injury red shirt for him or not, but um, unfortunately, Court just injuries, man. Injuries killed his career, and it sucks. Um, eventually, you run out of time. You run out of years, you know. So when you take serious injuries, you know, take those into account, you know, it's, it's hard, hard to get on the field. So uh, let's see how he feels in the fall. He's completely out of spring. So um, I'm not going to factor this, the safe, the uh, – True freshman coming in, Jaden Bonsu, Malik Hartford, Malik Hawkins. I'm not going to factor those guys into the rotation yet. Um, I think we got a really solid two deep right now. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, find me on Twitter and uh, let me know what's going on. Um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.